Hello, people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to my channel. Time is around almost 7 a.m. here, and I'm doing a series of videos. Uh, two days I missed out on I was not well um, right up here. I was physically, I was okay, but then, you know, I was a bit upset. Anyway, so uh, let's do a list today of five fragrances, okay? Five affordable. The criteria are five affordable fragrances, which are price point-wise still affordable. Second are good performers, and third are all good for summer so these are five summer fragrances i suggest and i'm gonna go uh, from price cheapest to a bit more expensive so we have somewhere from 20 dollars all the way up to 40 45 dollars so 45 dollars is not cheap but back in the days these used to be cheaper right so anyway i will go one by one and i'll go very briefly uh, because i've reviewed them all check uh, check them out first and the most impressive fragrance in this list is called elizabeth arden green tea if you have seen this list or fragrance before, you can skip the video. I have no issue. But sometimes there are a lot of new people in the community who are looking for some solid suggestions. So maybe they are a bit confused with all the new releases. Okay, These are old releases. And Elizabeth Arden's Green Tea, this is the best from thousands of flankers they have. Uh, this is the original. So the flankers are not as good as this one. I do enjoy some of the tropical ones, you know, some of the fruity like lychee one. But most of them, they fall flat and the dry down is not as interesting or as long lasting as this. Was it Francis Kirkshawn? I'm not sure. One of the famous perfumers made this, and that is the most surprising part. Back in the days, you could find this fragrance for somewhere between 15 to 17 to 20 dollar stops. Now this one goes for 20, 25 bucks. But if you get like the smallest bottle, you can get it under 10, 15 dollars. Like the cute little bottles, they go for 10 dollars. If you have the 10 ml, uh, 10 dollar, 30 ml, or 15 ml, or 30 ml, whatever the bottle is, it will also serve you a long time. You can carry it around. Cheap looking presentation, yes, but this smells like amazing in short this one can be related to something like nishanes ulongcha which cost like 200 dollars plus okay this one 20 dollars so there's a less zero so you get like a nice jasmine green tea sort of smell and also a lot of citrus lemon and citrusy uh, affair with the green tea very soothing very long lasting this one still is a powerful fragrance okay for summer i would say something like uh, ck1 smells similar to this but cannot beat the performance of this one okay so very first one is elizabeth arden green tea after a long time i'm showing this so this one is a female oriented fragrance but both genders can use it if you love citruses uh, number four right now is i think the number four in terms of the pricing so this is from house of swiss arabian called shock and this one i think in this list one of the beastly like uh, performers uh, this one definitely is a strong fragrance okay some people compared this with creed's aventus because it's pineapple heavy no, it's not a Creed Aventus dupe for me. This one is what I call pineapple juice. Uh, something, imagine, <clears throat> it's kind of like Aventus, but you mix ultra male with it. Like ultra male, I get a lot of pineapple from people say it's pear, but I get pineapple from very juicy, uh, sweet, fruity fragrance. This is that. This thing, if you can get the older version, I have it somewhere. Uh, it's down there, but I cannot get it because it's deep down in the <laughs> furniture. But the new version also lasts a long time. The older version has a, a better performance than this like two hours plus but uh, this thing uh, like still is a beast i would say like six seven easy hours on the shirt skin four to five right so this thing definitely is more potent than chris aventus any batch if you have aventus and layer it with this one you'll get beastly performance okay let's say you have 100 ml aventus and you spray this like in the same spot your aventus becomes so much more potent right so shock goes for about right now i think 30 dollars 30 35 within 30 35 dollars so a little bit more expensive than elizabeth arden but i think this is one of the best perfumes in this price bracket for performance all together it's a beautiful fragrance so number three i'm going to show a fragrance this used to be cheap but got a little bit higher in price right now this is called Peri perialis 360 degree red a legend thanks to jeremy who introduced this uh, if you haven't seen his video back in the days i would say check it out like jeremy talking about this one and he said i remember a very particular uh, story that he went to a, a he was a model or face for one of the armani or some fragrance he was a model in germany and they were showcasing a lot of niche perfumes and he was wearing this okay and he was i think maybe like face for some more upper class brand but he got compliments from this okay so those stories it's up to you if you believe it or not but back in the days jeremy was fun trust me he was a big influence on my journey so this thing, I got it back then. I got multiple bottles after this, my third bottle. And I always get now it is 200 ml because this is the ve best value. So back in the days, I think this used to be $45 for 200 ml and 100 ml used to be like 25. 
now uh yeah 35 dollars for 100 ml and uh, i think 200 ml is going to be costing somewhere like 55 to 60 okay depending maybe 50 dollars okay so that's why it's a little bit more expensive but man what a value this thing you can say a little bit synthetic a little bit synthetic it doesn't smell nice up close it smells synthetic kind of alcoholic but when you wear this and you go out you know as jeremy says outdoors it's perfect it's the best fragrance it loves the heat it loves the challenge so older batches of aqua di Gio and a little bit of essence if you love those this is a good fragrance still bang up banger of a performer uh Perialis, 360 degree red so number two is a funny story this used to be how cheap this used to be this used to be like 15 pounds or 20 something 22 dollars now this fragrance has gone up to 45 55 dollars not cheap anymore but still within the affordable range it's called nautica's voyage if you look for a good deal this 200 ml you can find for 60 65 dollars so that comes up to 35 dollars per 100 mil still of course affordable i mean 35 bucks for 100 ml it is it's now considered super cheap okay because what happened with the other brands so this thing is a performer it never changed for me i have the metal cap version i checked maybe one hour more it lasts than this but this one is always a beastly performer but only problem is not everybody likes it because of that seaweed kind of like a salty <clears throat> it has that marine accord so it's very salty green apple and then that mosquito not everybody is a big fan but it took me one year to understand it and i appreciate it. it's not sweet it's not citrus it's just a salty marine aquatic looking for performance like something similar to dolce and gabbana light blue or intense yeah this could be a good replacement for that for a fraction of a price nautica's voyage always a great fragrance the other flankers are okay but not as good as this <clears throat> last but not least is my personal favorite this thing <laughs> used to be 22 dollars i remember uh, paying around 20 dollars for the first time when i got this this is daniel desire red so daniel desire is simply called uh, back in the days you'll see the writing at the side okay it will be written somewhere at the side and i had that bottle in malaysia that fragrance if you don't take a shower never would leave your skin this thing is same new formulation no issue it is kind of like you can say daniel's version of one million light it has kind of like a orangey uh, fruity red fruits amber some spices masculine but very strong very strong um this fragrance feels like it's like a like one constant smell it does not have so much change or transformation but whenever people wear it i can tell they're wearing daniel desire red it's a historical fragrance like uh, it has a lot of memories for me i've seen people wearing this my uncles wearing this like aqua digio's time this is like a legend from that so this one even if you have now it will cost you 45 55 dollars yep 100 ml 150 dollars sorry 150 ml would cost somewhere like 55 so from $20 all the way to $45.50. Yeah, it is expensive now, but again, compared to Aqua Di Gio, $120, man. I mean, I don't see the point. Less performance for more price, no. So if you say you can get this in USA for $35, get it. If you see somewhere good deal going on, get multiple bottles. These are fragrances people don't talk about, which has good value. Okay, number one for me today is Daniel Desire uh, Red. Uh, this one can be worn also in winter so all year round great great fragrance so these are my five suggestions what are your thoughts about them and what do you feel have a nice day thanks for watching and uh, take care and enjoy the month of july bye, -bye.